Hello, and welcome to episode 47 of Sundaisy's Perfect Podcast. I'm Angie, also known as Sundaisy920, and thank you for joining me. Today I have, um, sorry, I keep looking at Luke. Um, but today I have a few things on the claws, not a whole lot off the claws. Um, I have a few perks, and that's really about it. So let's get going. On my claws, I should have this finished, but I don't. Sorry, Luke is doing that. But I started a voodoo. Voodoo, you, who do you love? That was by Susan Claudino. And I decided to knit it out of lace weight. So I've got the body done. It's pretty accurate. It's just like a green. It's knit picks, stroll, tonal, or something like that. Yeah. I got the, the head or the body done and. And I have one limb, so I just have to finish the rest of the limb and then do the face, and um, it'll be done. I just don't know what happened. I, I should have it finished, so hopefully I will get that done this week. I'm sorry, I hope you're losing it. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Alright, the other thing on my needles is, <clears throat> I forgot, to, I think it's called, it was a, a little mystery along this week, and it's, I think, the rabbit hole, is that the, that's the group that's in, I'll link it in my um, show notes. But the person, I'm sorry, I hope you're getting a little rambunctious this Alright. She's playing with her chicken. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Um, making noise when she squeezes it. Squeezes it. It sounds like a chicken. So, sorry about that. But the pattern name is Rats. And it's, I looked and I can't remember. Sarah Elizabeth Kilmer or something like that. But it's a real simple little pattern, and I haven't finished it yet. Some tail, little rat face, and I just need to do the legs. And I did one ear, but I didn't like the other way. The other ear turned out, so I got to do the other ear to get it looking better. And so I should have this done pretty soon too. So. That then I started a new sock. I had um well if you watched last year, it was July of last year, one of my outside cats got ran over by a car and um passed away. And so I had asked um sock funny um, when she used to dye yarn, if she would dye me some yarn from a picture of my cat. And so she uh, dyed this. And Teddy was a black and white cat. And um, it's out of her sunshine, fingering weight, and uh, she named the colorway Meow. And I cast on the groovy sock. But actually, I actually have done this toe four times. Because the first time I cast it on, I thought, well, I'll do the Hermione's, Hermione's sock. But then once I did a, you know, a little bit of the pattern, I thought, well, you can't really see it very good because the yarn, you know, the colorway is kind of busy. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> so I ripped it back to the toe, 
And I decided I would do the vanilla latte, I think. I think that's how it went. Yeah, and then I did a couple rows. And then I realized that my stitch, because I have, um, I do 56 stitches on my size ones. And so the stitch the pattern, you know, the stitch count and the pattern or whatever, it wasn't coming out. So I ripped it back and I didn't figure out what to do to get it right. And somehow when I was trying to rip back it, I messed up or dropped stitch or something. It, it, so I just frogged the whole thing, put the toe back on, and then I saw... <laughs> Um, I was watching Wolf Forum podcast and um, I saw um, Dawn and what she's doing the groovy sock and I thought it was really neat. I liked the way it looked and, and she said it was a two row repeat. Is that right? <laughs> and then, you know, I was wanting something easy. So I got that. It's a free pattern. So I cast it on, but yeah, the stitch count again because I have 56 and it's like for 64. And so I thought, well, I'll just do 64 and see how that goes. But 64, it was just too big for my foot. So then I ripped it out again and cast on last night and decided with the, I would just, I do two, I knit two extra on the end and on each end. So anyhow, long story short, I finally have this sock. My Teddy Graham sock. So. The color's not showing, I mean, it's not really showing very well, but it's like black and white, because Teddy, my cat, was black and white, and then there's like purple and green from the picture. If you go to my project page, you can see the picture that I sent her that she got the colors from. Put in here. Kind of see a little bit. There's Matthew, and he shut the camera off. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm working on that. Get that from here. And then I am still working on my um, other socks, the plain one. And I finished one somewhere. Oh, here it is. I still have to weave in the ends. I finished my first sock. It's this fish knits, and I use the fish kiss lip, fish lips kiss, fish kiss lips. <laughs> I use that heel, and I really like it. It was, it wasn't hard. It went really fast, and for a dollar, it's definitely worth it. If you, I mean, even if you try and you decide you don't really care for it, I mean, for a dollar. So, I got that. So I guess I just have to weave in my end and I have my sock done. And I have to cast on my second sock. And that's just, you know, just a plain old sock. So, I should have plenty of yarn. And, yep. And the only other thing, I guess that's kind of off. My claws and uh, oh wait, let's see. Um, other thing I've, I'm trying to kind of concentrate on this, and you will see I got a lot done on the by the sea shawl, and where that dicky do, and the color not showing up right there. I got that's what I. I've gotten done since y'all last saw it. And I finally got to the stripes. Yeah. Trying to play with the cat now. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm almost done with this uh, striping part and then I'll be done with this main color and I'll just be doing the border and the what color 
and this is um, No Makers. It's the doppelganger set. Um, the Gnome of the Lake. This is Gnome of the Lake. And again, I'm, it's close, but not quite accurate. And then this is Deep Blue Something. It's actually called Deep Blue Something. <laughs> And it's not showing quite accurate either, but whatever. But yep, I'm very happy I got to the striping part and get this off my needles, and then I need to get back to my dragon shawl and get that one off the needles. So, so I guess. The only other thing I did knit, and then uh, I made some cat toys for them. There's some kittens at the animal clinic where I work, and so I knit them some toys. And of course, if I knit toy, I have to knit one for my cat because I put catnip in it, and so I knit. Um, it looks awful now because. Um, they played with it, but I basically, in case you want to knit your cat something, I basically just cast on like I'm going to do the toe of a sock, the Judy's, what is that called? I don't forget. You know what I'm talking about. The, you know, like you're going to cast on for socks. And then I just, sometimes I might do a lot, stitch cast on a lot, or this one I knit this way. And then I just knit until I feel like it. And then I Kitchener it close. Or sometimes I might do three needle bind off or whatever. And well, you know, before you do that, you put some catnip in it and some stuffing. And yep, they love them. And I do, I don't know about your cats, but my cats are very rough <laughs> on toys. And I can't let them have like wool or anything because it was one time I like knit a um a mouse out of wool and I felted it and they ripped the ear off of it and this wasn't like an ear I sewed on it was like a bobble ear and they ripped it off so I always use acrylics for my cats because so if your cats are like mine you might want to use acrylics but anyhow that's just something I did share I'll give it to Matthew he said here and so I guess that's all of the knitting. So I guess we'll go to first. Um, I don't have a lot. I did order something from the No Makers. Big surprise, I know. I ordered some minis for my blanket. I ordered her June 2014 colorways, which is Blackberry and Kiwi. So, I'm sure y'all can figure out which is which. And then I also got the Independence Day little set. Those are shown pretty accurate. They're very bright and vibrant. So. And then I also got another doppelganger set. It was one that I had wanted to get earlier, but I don't really need it. <laughs> so I didn't get it, and then she had it again, so I had to get it. But it is the um, Birdie Bots doppelganger set. Oh, I think I didn't have to take it out, but it's like um, you got Birdie Bots, and um, the other skein is Berry. And they're both in the house known base, which is 75% superwash and 25%. And it's not really. Oh, there you go. There you can kind of see it better now. So, so, probably do another shawl of some kind. I think I. I think I'm gonna do the wholehearted, I think it's called, shawl with this one. Oh look, I don't know where this came from. Stitch marker. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's 
And I also ordered um, a little keychain from her because she has like little yarn keychain. And it's already on my keychain, but it's I got the Captain America one. So. And the only other thing as far as yarn goes, um, I've been playing around and dyeing some yarn, and this one is not showing. It's not showing. It's like a peachy color. Yeah, it's not showing. It's here. Because it looks, at least on my screen, it looks like brown. <laughs> so, that's not. But, this other one I dyed, I probably won't show very good either, but I just found it very interesting because I decided to try um, dyeing yarn um, in the sun. Basically, like sun tea. If you make sun tea, you know, you just stick the tea bags in there in the water and you set it outside. So what I did was I put the yarn, I put the yarn in the, you know, the pot thing, and then I just put, I think I put like three drops of like a reddish, like a magenta, and then three drops of like a turquoise color. And I, my thought was it'll probably kind of blend and I'll get maybe a purplish yarn. I, it didn't get purple up. Well, maybe just like a little, very few spots. But it's basically like, there you go. You see that? And then like, uh, uh, I'm get, like right there, there's like, like you have like, that's like really accurate too when it flashes <laughs> like that. And then you just have like these blotches of like the red, like in there. So I don't know. I was just I thought there was a spot where it like I can't find it now, but yeah, I just thought that was really interesting how it, how it, it did. But yeah, so kind of interesting how it died up. And that's all the yarning goodness I have. Um, I did finish listening to the audiobook The Oath by Frank Peretti. It was very good. Highly recommend it. Um, I don't know what I'm listening to now. Oh, I'm listening to... It's Doctor Who... Oh, what is it? It's... It's like the book that Amy like wrote. If you're a Doctor Who fan, you know what I'm talking about. Like the summer fall or something like that. I'm um, that's what I'm listening to now. It's pretty good. And then as far as what I'm watching anything interesting. I started to watch the old Wonder Woman T V series from the nineteen seventies. <laughs> and I kinda remember them when I was a kid, but not really. You know, like I might, you know, remember just a little bit. But they're pretty cheesy. So if you don't like cheesy, you probably wouldn't like it. But I kind of like it. It's just kind of cheesy and, you know, you can't take it too serious. But it's enjoyable. But of course, you know, it's superheroes. So I guess you shouldn't take that seriously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, besides that, I haven't watched as much, um, Murder Shrew lately. Kind of giving her a little break. I don't know. They're like 200 something episodes of that, so there's a lot of them. And yeah, that's about, the, about it. As far as the sun patch, I'm trying to think of the animals have done anything interesting. Not really. They've, the cats have brought in some frogs, lizards, that kind of thing. <laughs> get them out but yeah it's been really hot here so they kind of stay in a lot I don't blame them so but yeah I guess that's about it I hope everybody has a great two weeks and 
yeah <laughs> have a great day bye